back to Arc Tutorials. This is testing concept series and in today's episode we are going to learn about what is compatibility testing. Extremely important especially when you are building device or an application which has to work with multiple devices, multiple browsers, multiple screen resolutions and much more. We will learn all about it in today's episode. Let's get started. This is part 13 of the testing concept series. This is a playlist that I've covered from basic uh, concepts to some of the advanced concepts that are important for everybody to learn and know about. Today we are in episode number 13. Today we are learning about compatibility testing. Okay, so let's talk about compatibility testing. A lot of times if you're working with a complex uh, setup and application which has to work with different uh, hardwares, it has to work with different operating systems, etc. That's where compatibility testing comes into picture. It is typically performed to ensure that the software can be successfully installed, run and used on a specific platform or configuration. Now, this particular software that we are talking about compatibility testing has to do work with a different wide range of hardware and software configurations. Think of it like a mobile OS, right? Now, a uh, a mobile OS has to work with different OS, right? If it's an open source one like an Android, it has to work with Samsung phones, OnePlus, Micro Max, Vivo, etc., etc. Now, this involves also working with different operating systems, browsers, devices, other hardware, etc. Now, one of the most important things is improving the overall quality, usability, at the same time maintaining the same user experience across different hardware devices. Now what are the, some of the tools that are used for compatibility testing? Now since we are working and talking about working with different hardwares and software configurations, we mostly rely on the emulators and simulators. Since you, let's say you're building an application which has to work on a mobile, now, practically, it's not possible that you test it on 300 plus devices. Some major big enterprises do test their applications for all those devices, but most of the time we rely on emulators and simulators. There are test automation tools which perform the task of installing, running, configuring, and then running, checking the installations, checking some of the processes, and finally deleting the tool end to end. So that is achieved through test automation. We also have compatibility testing platforms specially. Now, with, when we talk about compatibility testing platforms, those are mostly enterprise grade licensed versions, which provide end to end uh, test emulators, simulators and automation tools for completely configuration, for complete installation and running those software. In latest with DevOps and SaaS environments, we also have something called configuration management tools. Now using configuration management tools, we can manage, track the hardware, install them, software to be upgraded runtime and much more. Now let's talk about some of the advantages that compatibility testing has. Now obviously the first and single most reason is that we want to make sure that our application or the system that we are generating is compatible with different hardwares and different devices and different software configurations. It also helps us to identify and diagnose any issues that are arising out of the compatibility. It also helps us in enhancing the user experience. If you might want to configure certain experience for a certain device, we can do that. And hence it's very important that we have to make sure that we have a enhanced user experience based on certain devices. Better planning and management. Now compatibility testing can provide valuable data on the hardware and software configurations that, that the software is compatible with. So this helps us in planning and managing the deployments and that's the single most, I would say, um, advantage that we get out of compatibility testing that you can plan you can deploy, you can deploy the fixes and much, much more. Reduce cost and risks. Now, let's say if you don't run this compatibility testing, we might end up having issues in one or the other device. And you will end up providing patches for each one of them, which will really increase the cost. 
So if you perform the compatibility testing correctly throughout the different configurations or hardware, you, you will end up saving a lot of reduce, reducing the cost and risks. A lot of major software that is getting deployed has to be compliant right, with some of the industry standards and guidelines. Compatibility testing helps us to make sure that our software or our system that we are deploying is really compatible and is compliance. That means it's compliance to the regulatory and the mandatory standards that are set already. Now let's talk about some of the drawbacks and disadvantages. Obviously, there is higher cost and resource uh, requirement because for one, since we are testing on different emulators, compatibility platforms, those are all pricey. Okay, they're all costly, they're not easy and running them requires a lot of uh, money to keep them going and we need to emulate and test for different hardware configurations which is again resource uh, intensive. Also running and certifying for so many devices takes time, it's complicated and it's difficult. For sure it is not easy and hence any release that we do has to be thoroughly tested for different configurations and hardware. Compatibility testing has a limited scope, which means that typically if you see, um, it will not identify any other issues that are arising out of it, say performance, security, uh, legal or language, etc. And hence, uh, the scope that compatibility testing provides is very limited. Yes, it does certify for the hardware and the software uh, compatibility configurations, but any other issues are skipped apart. Also, inaccurate results, a lot of data that we capture in logs, in reports, is through emulators, simulations and all that. Which means for some, uh, some of the hardware, some of the software configurations, the results may vary, it may not be accurate. Also, limited value in some cases, like for example, if the software is only expected to be working on a small number of hardware and software configurations, Conducting a full-fledged compatibility testing does not really help you or solve your problem. It will only add up to the cost of the project. All right, that was all about the compatibility testing that you should be knowing as a concept. Again, each of this topic is huge, uh, has its own importance and domain. But as for testing concept wise, I hope the concept is clear. I hope some of the basic things like the tools, uh, advantages, disadvantages are clear. And join me in the next episode. We will talk about the unit testing and its importance, disadvantages, some of the frameworks that are available, etc. If you like my work in tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash art tutorials. Thank you so much in advance. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for your support.